Hi, everyone. I'm Adrian from Audio Excellence in Canada. Hope you're well. Um, today's uh, video topic is time sensitive in the sense that today is um, May, what is it, 30th, uh, 2020. And it specifically relates to if you are using Rune and you have Inuos as a server, you may want to check the latest update um, on the Inuos. Um, let me tell you the backstory. Um, approximately a month ago or so, during the uh, lockdown in, in uh, Ontario, a client and a friend of mine, uh, Jason, called me up and said, uh, Adrian, my system doesn't sound very good. Something's weird. Uh, when when uh, the lockdown is over, I need you to come over and, and, and listen to it and see what you think. Uh, Jason's got a great set of years and his system is marvelous. So I trusted him knowing that there was something wrong, except nothing really had changed in the system. So anyway, fast forward a little bit, um, approximately a week ago or so, he called, he called me up. He says, I fixed it. No, he texted me, said I fixed it. So I was curious and I texted him back. He says, I'd, I'd been doing a lot of research and reading, and it turns out that Rune had sent out an update a few weeks ago, and he automatically updated it, didn't think about it. And then uh, a few days afterwards, when he was listening to his system, um, it just didn't sound right to him. And um, that's when um, uh, all of this started to happen. Um, and then approximately a, a week or two weeks ago, um, he discovered through reading on certain forums that it might have something to do with um, the, the uh, updates from the rune, and therefore you may need to update your server. Now, he has um, an Inuos server, so he did the latest update, and that restored the sound. So when he told me that, I thought, oh, that's interesting. Now, I've done and heard updates before, and in most cases, updates are usually um, to do with making something more efficient, um, unless you have something like a PS Audio DS DAC, where a firmware update can change the sound, and in some cases, uh, relatively significantly. But never, in my experience, uh, dramatic. It's usually a, 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 a range of better, slightly worse, etc. To tie all of this in, during the shutdown, I, I took in a pair of uh, horn speakers. I won't mention the name because it's not relevant. And they were left in their crates because uh, I was by myself and I didn't want to attempt taking the speakers out of the crate. Um, then when the lockdown was uh, lifted and the guys were back, Jay and Jerry took the speakers out of the crate. They hooked them up. I uh, went to listen and it sounded awful. And I was scared because these speakers uh, were in the tens of thousands of dollars and they sounded broken. And when I say they sounded broken, let me explain. Imagine if uh, you've ever had your tweeter blown or if you've got bi-wire speakers and you forgot to connect the, the, the uh, straps or to connect the uh, mids and highs, that's what it sounded like. All the highs were gone, sounded very muddy, and the bass was boomy. And um, we checked the connections and so on, and everything was correct, but it just sounded wrong. Um, both Jay and, and Philip are big horn fans, and I remember Philip looking at me multiple times over the course of the next few days saying, Adrian, you're going to die with these speakers. They, they sound awful. Who's going who's gonna to buy these speakers? And, and I thought, oh my God, you know, it's just the, the sound of the speakers. So fast forward, I, uh, I was talking with... Um, uh, um, uh, with my client, um, and he said, "I think I fixed it." And and so I asked him what the, the uh, what the uh, solution was, and and Jason said, um, "Update the um, software on the Inuos." So I thought that's interesting. So the very next day, I said to Villa, "Villa, please check the update, see if there's an update, and then update our um, Inuos systems." Villa did. Then he came and got me. I looked at Philip. He says, you won't believe it. I listened, and immediately, all the highs were back. The clarity was back. It sounded like a whole different speaker. It just blew my mind. So this is a public service announcement. Um, if you've got Inuos and you're running Rune, um, check that you've got the very latest um, uh, software and, and up, uh, update it and see what you think. 
Um, now, I, I want to make a caveat. This is not blaming Rune or Inuos and so on. When Rune updates, they update to make the, the product work better. And um, then um, the, the company like uh, licensee like um, uh, Inuos or, or Lumen or whoever, uh, they need to update their software to make it work properly. I honestly don't know why the difference was so startling. Uh, um, it, it's, it's huge, at least in our system, uh, at least and specifically with the uh, horn speakers. So anyway, um, that's it from me. Um, um, Jay is going to splice in the video where um, Philip will show you how you can update the software if you've got any of those. And uh, let me know in the comments um, what you find. Uh, would love to hear if you also found something similar or, or indifferent or no difference whatsoever. I'd be curious to know. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe um, and turn on the notification. Uh, I, I ask you to do this because the funds that we get from um, YouTube, we match and uh, donate to the Salvation Army. So help us with our cause. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, Jay. Hello. How what do you I want? Update the Inuis. Oh, you want to learn how to update the Inuis. So it's uh, pretty simple. Uh, you launch your browser. Yeah. Okay, so in this case, I'm using uh, Firefox. Okay. And it could be any of the major browsers. Um, you type in my Inuis, and um, it'll actually do a search. Google tells you this, which is uh, says myinuis.com. You can click on that. Um, these are the two Inuis servers on our system. Uh, they're both programmed exactly the same way. Um, click on one of them. And we'll get to this to the uh, Zen Mini. You'll see that there are a list of options here on the side. You select the one at the bottom called Settings. And then you get this menu. Uh, first one says systems. The third item down is update system. It will tell you what the current version is. And currently it's version 1.4.4, which is the latest one. So if you click on this, you'll see it's, it searches for the update and it tells you your system is up to date and you can close it. If it were not up to date, it would actually, there would be a, um, uh, a button here somewhere that says update and you hit the button and it will automatically update uh, but we don't have to do that in the system because it's done but that's where you would check it in update system under system under settings here and that's all there is to it that simple now the update could take about 20 minutes so you just have to be patient once it gets going um, awesome thanks right. Philip yeah you're welcome